Okay, so 100 day lion diet, week number four in the books, 28 days down. And boy, did I get tested this week. I was this close from wanting to quit. Literally this close. I was questioning everything. Why am I doing this? What's the point? Um, why do I have to? I don't have to. This is stupid. Why did I get myself into this? Um, I, don't, I don't need this. So much so that I had to call one of my dear friends and talk to him about it and, and really just get some two cents of encouragement and like, dude, what are you thinking? Like, if you go back on this right now, you're going to go back on yourself. You're going to go back on your word, everything you've talked about, everything you've stood for, the message you're projecting, all of which I knew in my mind, in the back of my mind. And still, you know, amidst that wall and amidst the resistance, I was just, I was scrambling. I was, I was wobbling. I was, I was just wanting to quit. I wanted to stop. I, I, I wanted some, you know, not be barricaded by these rules, rules that I imposed on myself, a challenge that I said that I was going to do, right? That sounded great on the cusp. And then once you get into it, you're like, oh man, this is a lot more intense, more demanding and, and not nearly as fun as I thought it would be. If fun can even be a word to define this, but having that call with my friend really set me straight because he was like, dude, you, you've done blah, 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 blah. Just really talking to me like a friend and also like a man in the sense that, you know, who are you without your word? Who are you without your character? You know, your character and your actions are going to define you. And by that, that's going to complement your word that you give to people and for people to know that you can be held to your word because you are defined by your actions through your character. I know it's a lot, but character, actions, word, character, actions, word. And so this past week, that's what main takeaway was. It was about maintaining character, maintaining your word, and, and living you know, with principle, through principle, with purpose. And my purpose right now is to maintain my word here with this discipline. Because I said I was going to do it, I'm going to do it. And the reason for the resistance, that's just sugar, that's temptation, that's the past, that's comfort just creeping in, trying to rear its head in and say, hey, it's okay. You don't need to do this anymore. You can revert back to your old ways. This is pointless. So, so much of that negative self-talk, the power of that, especially amidst an adversary like I'm against right now, is amazing. And this was really, really, really strong the other day. And in that moment, after a lot of self-talk and help from my friend, like I said, I was able to reach down, pull my bootstraps up and, and hunker back into it. And there's a famous phrase about, you know, quitting and not to quit when you're being emotional or being reactive, not logically thinking. Don't quit today. If you're going to quit, quit tomorrow, meaning if you can resist that urge to quit in the moment when you're thinking emotionally and reactively, and just, just get through that and try to get to tomorrow. And if you still want to quit, quit tomorrow. 90, at least for me, 99% of the time, I don't quit the next day. So there's something to that, right? Think about quitting in the moment or letting our emotions get the better of us in the moment, especially when we just want things, we want something, we want to just cut a little bit of relief there to get a little bit of pleasure out of the situation of which we're enduring and suffering. If we can maintain our, our focus, discipline, and just strength in those moments and know like, wow, this really sucks. I do not like it. I do not feel good. But to acknowledge that and to be present for the pain, then we cannot be mastered by it, but rather we can be the ones that are determining its outcome, that we're mastering the pain rather than the other way around. Because if we let it, it'll totally consume us. Our emotions, our self-talk, our negative self-talk, our doubt, our, our skepticism, all that, it comes in and it can become an avalanche to deal with. And it's hard to hold up an avalanche or hold back an avalanche. It's amazing that all this can be learned through just a diet in a week.
seven days, right? But yeah, that's where I'm at, approaching the 30 day mark and I just keep having these breakthroughs. And that's the thing about a breakthrough, when you meet resistance, at least from what I found in my research, when you meet resistance, especially significant resistance, that's right when you're on the cusp of something big. When you're really going through it, when you're really being tested and hardened, questioning everything and thinking it's wrong, wanting to pull your hair out, who are they? What's going on? What else do I need to do? What do you want from me? When you're pretty much on your knees begging for a lifeline, but you don't take it, that's where I found to be, like I said, the cusp of greatness. What's coming, I don't know. But I know, having not given in the other day, waking up yesterday morning, man, I felt electric. Electric. Because I know how I would have felt had I not done that. And the regret, the remorse, the shame, the disappointment. So that's this week's takeaway. 28 days into the 100-day lion diet. And I keep finding nuggets nuggets within and nuggets outside. And this one from this week was about don't quit today. If you want to quit, quit tomorrow. But just remembering why, your why, for, for going into something. And once you commit to it, once you give your word, once you put your balls on the line, guys, once you put your credibility on the line, guys and gals, you got to hold yourselves to that. Because what are we without our word? What are we without our actions to attest to our words? Because that's what's going to define our characters. Our words combined with our actions. So if you're actionless compared to your word, what kind of character are you? Or what kind of character does that say that you have? But if you can be held to your word, if you're responsible, if you're accountable, if you're honorable, if you've got integrity and principle, I'd say you've got some pretty damn good character. So that's what I'm trying to do. Let's see how it keeps going. I'll see you all next week.